10 Things You Didn't Know About Lazarus Chakwera, President of Malawi Hello Displorers, welcome to another informative video presented to you by Displore and thanks for watching. In this video, we will be looking at 10 things you didn't know about Malawi's current president, Lazarus Chakwera. Malawi is a landlocked country in Southern Africa with an estimated population of 19.4 million. The country is nicknamed the Warm Heart of Africa because of the friendly nature of its people. There is quite a lot to say about the country, but our focus today is on its current president, Lazarus Chakwera. Well, for status, Malawi has had six presidents since it became a republic in 1966, with the current head of state being Lazarus Chakwera. On June 23, 2020, Lazarus Makathi Chakwera, so called, was elected as the country's sixth president, replacing Arthur Peter Mutharika. Chakwera received 58% of the vote, while Mutharika got just 38%. This victory was very historic because these were new elections ordered by the country's constitutional court after it nullified the May 2019 elections. As many cases around the African continent, the court found it that elections were hampered with extensive irregularities including the use of correction fluid, which is against the country's electoral laws. Let us look at 10 peculiar things about Lazarus Chakwera. If you're new here, welcome, be sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss on any of our videos. First, let's begin with the story of his name. Chakwera was born in a village west of Malawi's capital called Lilongwe on April 5, 1955 to a very poor family. Two of his older brothers had died at childhood in the maudlin poverty of colonial Malawi and the community believed that there was a curse in the family, a curse. Unsurprisingly, his father named him Lazarus after the biblical story of Lazarus whose life was restored by Jesus, four days after his death. Chakwera's father believed that Lazarus was going to escape the fate of his two brothers and like Lazarus in the Bible, he would survive against all odds. Number 2. His Educational Profile Talking about standing out, Chakwera has always been exceptional in school, from the primary level to when he decided to stop. He always left a mark. Talk about intelligence. He went to Malembo Primary School and even though only three boys were selected to go to Mtendere Secondary School, he happened to be one of them. He then went on to University of Malawi where he studied philosophy and graduated in 1977. He followed this up with an honors degree in theology at the University of North in South Africa and later earned a master's degree in the University of South Africa. In the year 2000, Trinity International University in the USA awarded him with a doctorate and then he became the president of the Pan-African Theological Seminary in 2005. Now, what an awesome black who that was. Number 3. Chakura is a profound theologian. As far as we can trace, he worked as an instructor at the Assemblies of God School of Theology from 1983 to 2000, where he became the principal in 1996. He has been the co-director and a lecturer at All Nations Theological Seminary. From 1989 to 2013, he presided over the Malawi's Assemblies of God. On April 14, 2013, he took many by surprise when he declared his intentions to run at a convention of the Opposition Malawi Congress Party MCP as president while still maintaining the Assemblies of God presidency, a dual profile. Number 4. From leader of Assemblies of God to a political figure Chakwera's intention to run in the MCP's presidential race was first reported in online media on April 9, 2013 and rumors were confirmed on April 14, 2013. Chakwera later submitted his nomination papers while still at the helm of the Malawi Assemblies of God. The MCP convention slated for April 27, 2013 and was later postponed to 10th and 11th August, where he was elected as president of the MCP and he represented the party in the 2014 general elections. During the 2014 Malawi general elections, it was speculatively remote in different platforms that the elections were rigged. Chakwera told all Malawians to remain peaceful, accept the outcome, and wait for the subsequent elections. He also further announced his resignation as the head of the Malawian Assemblies of God, effective on May 14, 2013, saying that this would enable him to concentrate more on frontline politics. Number 5. He probably is the best president Malawi has ever had. The works are obvious. Just almost a year in power, Chakura has attempted and actually done things that will make you believe he might be the best president the nation has sincerely ever had. He already made moves to fight corruption in the country, and if not for the fact that the panel rejected his offer to head the anti corruption bureau, we would have already been seeing significant changes in that sector. He's already tackling the educational system and is strongly concerned about the health of his people, as we saw him recently refusing the expired COVID vaccines, which shouldn't be used in his country. He is very down-to-earth, humble and simple with how he relates with citizens. 
you hardly see him posing as a ruler but as a servant to the people as he constantly reminds them with words and actions that he is there to serve and not to rule. Number 6. His view and approach to politics Contrary to public opinion that politics is a dirty game, Chakura believes that it is people who make politics dirty. What do you think about that? In fact, to him, people are dirty and not politics in itself. He believes that when you're talking about politics in terms of creating an environment in which you follow policies and what makes the common good possible, and it is all about leadership and good governance, you don't really have to be dirty in order to succeed. Being so deep in the religious front, it came as a surprise to those close to him when he decided to enter politics. In his reply to the question, he says that he sees politics as an extension of his mission to serve people this time on a bigger stage than a pulpit. Number 7. Chakura's interest in cannabis to increase Malawi's GDP Well, this may sound controversial, but President Chakura's religious values do not stop him from being a realist, a proper economist and an objective president for his country. It is safe to say that no matter how controversial a business is, so long as the ethics is correct, well, he will delve in. Chakura warned recently that his country's leading foreign exchange earner, tobacco, was in terminal decline and he urged a switch to high growth crops like cannabis, which was legalized locally for some uses last year. The inconvenient truth is that while Malawi has come a long way by relying on tobacco as a largest single crop contributor to the GDP, this reliance is now seriously threatened by declining demand worldwide. Chakwera said, Clearly, we need to diversify and grow other crops like cannabis, which was legalized last year for industrial and medical use, he added. Lazarus Chakwera is definitely a businessman. Number 8. His Economic Ideology Lazarus Chakwera isn't a communist, but he isn't a conventional capitalist either. In an interview with New African Magazine, he said he just believes in a developmental state which sometimes intervenes. So it is not capitalism in the traditional sense, it is a combination of all things and systems that will make sure Malawians get better served. Again, we see that this modus operandi for leadership is serving the people. Number 9. His Vision for Malawi Chakwera aims at transforming Malawi into a middle-income economy by building a capable democratic developmental state. Five core pillars strengthen his approach to governance. He values servants' leadership, he strives to unite Malawians, he believes in prospering together, ending corruption, judicial independence, and rule of law. Chakwera has outlined several key initiatives and factors, including a universal fertilizer subsidy to guarantee food security for every household, and has promised to create 1 million jobs by revamping industries that will add value to the crops of Malawian farmers. He hasn't been in power for up to a year, but it is safe to say he is very intentional about the things he says and sincerely plans to actualize on them. Already, Chakura's anti-corruption crusade has taken in Motharika's bodyguard, Norman Shizale, and the Malawi Revenue Authority Deputy Commissioner, General Rosa Mbilizizi, in connection with a cement deal. The Acting Inspector General of Police, Duncan Mbapasa, who is alleged to be a tribal henchman of Motharika, has also been sacked. A number of former government officials and police officers have been arrested over allegations of violent conduct. The man didn't come to play, you can say that again. Number 10. His Net Worth President Lazarus Chakwera, in compliance with the Constitution of Malawi, submitted his assets declaration form to the Office of Directorate of Public Assets Declaration. Presidential Media Liaison Officer and Executive Assistant Sin Kampudeni confirmed that Chakwera presented a fresh asset declaration form upon ascending to the office of president, saying he was trying to fulfill his obligations. Kampondeni said that the resubmitted declaration contains updated information from what he declared in 2019. In previous declaration, Chakura's wealth was said to be around $339,839, a Capri tool farm in his Malembo village in Lilongwe, which inherited from his father on the plot of Nyangulu village. Some of the assets to be declared, according to the law, should include those in which the member of any member of his immediate family has full or part ownership interest. Chakura declared a fleet of vehicles owned by him personally and his immediate family, which include a Mercedes Benz saloon bought in 2014 while as leader of opposition at $5,622 using a bank loan, a Range Rover registration MC969A worth $11,244 bought in 2017 with a bank loan and an Isuzu truck bought in 2014 also using a bank loan. He declared three vehicles to have been given to him as gifts between 2014 to 2018. There you have it explorers, those were 10 things you didn't know about Lazarus Chakwera. Thanks for watching the video. If you did enjoy this video, please do not forget to drop your comments down below. 
also give us a thumbs up and share with your friends. We would like to get your feedback.